<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to an impromptu to be released solo. I'm here with a guest this time. It's Ignit. Say hello, dude. Ohio gamers. And we're here because we were recording something completely different, but then we saw the tech kits <laughs> easy easy a details came out. So we're going to be putting him on the big boy scale for today in terms of what Dokkan is doing for the foreseeable future. I think Ader is cool. I hope he is good. Based on the fact that he is a free-to-play combo unit, he's basically DOA, but that's not going to stop me from trying to run him. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, see, the thing with that is, let's see, Ader, him being free-to-play, I wouldn't be scared for because like, they make good free-to-play units, but the issue is that 17 is on the unit. Now, the reason for that is every unit with 17 related to this year has been mid you got the universe, the team universe seven or whatever. It's a good unit, but you can only use them on one team, basically. Yeah, and seventeen the is the forefront. Uh, seventeen and Frieza, pretty mediocre unit. Then you got Super Seventeen that I always forget even exists until it comes to bashing units for this year. <laughs> so the, this is Jack record this year with seventeen units. I'm already scared that this unit is just going to be bad on release. Yeah, I was going to say the the Super Seventeen that everyone but and this is not a knock against him because he's the only one who I ever see get hype for him. <laughs> Nano, I think Nano was the only person who was like, "Yo, Super Seventeen." <laughs> Well, I was hyped for him because I love GT. GT is like one of my favorite parts. I know, I know. Boom in the comments. I love DT. It's so fun to me. I'll, I'll boo uh, you but here. In person. I, yeah. <laughs> but like, I was actually excited for Super 17. Then I seen what they did to him when they made the lead for the team. And they made it where he just doesn't work on the damn team. And uh, mm. shout out to the boy Mass Ninja because he was super hyped for him as well. Uh, support praise his soul, bro. Like, <laughs> he got destroyed. Yeah, I don't want to take it as me saying, like, haha, he's, he's Super 17 sucks, so his card should suck. No, I'm actually of the opposite mind that I feel like the people who are going to get hyped for Super 17 fucking deserve to have the best LR in the world because this is the only chance that they're going to get us an LR Super 17. Are you fucking kidding me? You think Dokkan's yeah. about to fucking release another <laughs> LR Super 17 in the <laughs> next six years? Bro, we'll be dead in the next six years we're not gonna get another super 17 so they better release the best yeah. one and unfortunately they just they just did it it's a yeah. shame but yeah let's why don't you read up since you're the guest what tech hit does easy <laughs> style oh all right well i, I want to go ahead and say this first tech hit has always been a funny unit to me because he's like the only unit that had bad defense when defense literally did not matter <laughs> like that's how bad he was on release i would uh, say Okay, no. You did just say when defense didn't matter. To be fair, when Super Saiyan 3 Broly released, defense literally did not matter. Yeah. Yeah. But somehow Hit managed to still be bad defensively at that time. Yeah, it was like his All number right. one thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so his easy eight. Leader skill, universe six category, key plus four, HP attack and defense 170%, and universe survival saga category, key plus three, attack and defense 160%. Leader skill is pretty good. I, mean, I don't think anyone's going to deny that. No. So, you know, now, if, you're, if you're doing plus three and you're doing it to all three stats, I think that's actually something that's very rare nowadays. <laughs> like, if you're doing 170% across the board, you're fucking golden. You have to have either one of the worst categories in the world or you just got super lucky. <laughs> either yeah. one. And it's great because his primary is 170% across and the secondary is 160% across. Yeah. So that's really, really good. That's yeah, uh, solid. Passive. Now, this, the, we read this part, and this is when we decided to kick it up, uh, start recording. It was yeah. because attack and defense plus 20% per universe 6 category ally. Not on the team, but attacking in the same turn. And if all allies attack in the same turn are in the universe 6 category, gaining a medium chance to stun all enemies. <laughs> is there anything you want to say about that part before we move on to the rest? The thing I was going to say is that I'm tired of these Universe 6 units that only work with Universe 6. Yeah. There's, like, I think it's the same thing for Universe 7. The difference is that Universe 7 has, like, 5,000 units. Universe 6 has Kale, Khalifla, Kale, again, <laughs> Khalifla, again, <laughs> Kale and Khalifla together as a card, Super Saiyan 2, Kale and Khalifla, that Super Saiyan, you want to run the TUR version of the LR, sure, go ahead, and you have Hit, <laughs> and Kaba, I guess, but Kaba doesn't make the team because even his, the new Dokkan Fest doesn't really stack up compared to the EZAs, like, the Kale and Khalifla's have gone in 
too broken in their base forms, and then their easy A's have gotten equally as broken, and then I'm not even bringing in Kefla. Like, Kefla's another whole different bag, uh, and there's just not a lot of, like, actual choices for Universe 6. Like, what what the fuck are they going to do? They're not going to release Boda Magetta? They're not going to about to release a Dokkan Fest <laughs> Boda Magetta? Yo, dude, where's the Dokkan Fest Frost, man? <laughs> I, a Frost SSR has not been released since this motherfucker got released. <laughs> They didn't even give him true, the freedom. actually, wait. That's true. <laughs> it's true. They didn't even give him like the, the free to play like kind of thing. Now I'm getting too loud and I'm afraid I'm gonna wake up my uncle, so I'm gonna calm down a little bit. The fact that Frost <laughs> has four forms and has not received a single free to play, the duo from the world tournament in the Boo saga, who's only Spopovich and the other Onion guy, I don't remember his name at the moment, got a free duo unit before Frost got a free anything. <laughs> I think his name is Yamu? Yeah, it might be Yamu. Boda Magetta got multiple Dokkan Awakenings at the same time that Frost got one Dokkan Awakening. The Universe 6, it <laughs> when you focus too hard on Universe 6, it's just not going to work out. Because it's not like Universe 7, where Universe 7 has beloved characters like you know krillin 18 17 piccolo gohan golden frieza uh goku vegeta like there's so many people that you can list off because it's like oh yeah tn master roshi there's so much and they're so loved that they will continuously make good units for but universe 6 just doesn't have that luxury (laughs) they have hit (laughs) they have kale they have khalifa they have (laughs) kefla and if they're lucky they'll summon them Sometimes they'll get their angel and god as well, but yeah. Uh, Go ahead. I think Say for the most team. part, if you're running a universe six team, this is gonna be nothing but Kelly Khalifa, because so, like, they're like the best units of the category by far. Yeah. I don't think you'd run anything else at all. No, you wouldn't. All right, well I, now, yeah. Go ahead. Let's continue with what he's got. I was gonna say. I was going to say, that that's the funny part of his passive. I think the rest is actually pretty good. Gain an additional attack and defense plus 160% when performing a super attack, which if y'all don't know is actually the one you want because they just get Ooga Booga extra boost for doing on super. Yep. Uh, gain an additional attack plus 80% and attacks effective against all types when attacking the enemy who is in the stun status. Attacked enemies attack minus 20% and defense minus 80% for two turns with a high chance of stun for one turn. So basically, that entire half of the passive past the one sixty percent, you're like never going to see outside of Super Battle Road. Yeah, that's the thing I was about to say. This, this actually, the reason it's so busted is because they know, like, yo, this is going to be good in one mode. We may as well make that. We may as well make it good as hell. Like that's my only reason I would think of giving anyone who's like it's it's similar to like um, Oceanus Shenron. The way that she has, like, if they're sealed, you get to do an additional super, and it's, like, type effective, and you're super strong, and you win the game. The reason it's like that is because you're never going to get that outside of, like, super baby easy modes or super battle road. And at which case, you're only, what, where are you going to use Oceana Shenron? Peppy Gals. Yeah. That's about it. Um, but yeah, the attack and defense, 160%, that's pretty damn solid. There's no denying that. Yeah. Uh, and then his super attack effect raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy with a medium chance of stun. So I believe all they changed for that was just gives him the raises defense, which, to be fair, that's mainly what he needed was the defense, because God, was he, his defense is atrocious. Doing Super Battle World with Universe 6 is real fun, because you're like, do I bring hit? His stunning is really good, but also there's a big chance of me just getting fucking killed on slot 3. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thankfully, I mean, when I did it, he worked out pretty well. But Overall, I think it's a good easy A. It's just, I don't like when they do that. It's kind of like Maja Vegeta. Or mm-hmm. Maja Vegeta's probably better, because I mean, he has some good units you can slap on the team for those. But it's just like, you're not going to see all of that on one t- Well, you can. But if you're running a good team, you're not going to see all of that <laughs> in this passive. And then this one is just like, you have to have them stunned, which... Long events never happens because they're immune to basically everything ever, and they even say "fuck it," disable dodge, screw you, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you, like we say, you're only going to see a super battero, so I think it's going to be like a mega super battero busted unit. But outside of that, I don't know how good he'll actually be. We'll have to wait and see until he's actually in the data and try him out. 
Yeah. But I mean, they gave him the extra defense. Uh, we were making fun of it, but the extra 20% per, per, per universe six is not awful. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's, I don't it's know. A, yeah, it's a problem with it, the system in Dokkan, which is that universe six, in theory, the universe six category getting four key and 170% HP attack and defense would make it easily one of the best. The problem is half the units don't get support because they're from Universe 6 or RSRs. The other ones are Bodomageta and Frost who kind of do their own thing. Hit does his own thing. And then you have Kale and Khalifa units that only want to be next to Kale and Khalifa and no one else. And then there's Kaba, whose dumbass wants to be next to Vegeta. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Which I guess you could I, slap because of the this leader skill. Actually, I think this leader skill helps out with that cap a little bit because it gives Universe 6 a buff and the Universal Survival Saga buff is actually decent enough that you could run that Vegeta. But at that point, I don't know if you're going to start messing with some of the synergy of the Kale and Khalifas because, again, they're very good, but they're only really good if they're next to another Kale and Khalifa. They really need yeah. to be like, like that, like fingers crossed next to each other at each time. Yeah, I just don't see. I just don't see where you would really fit him on the team at this point because you just run like L R Kella Khalifa, their T U R, then you run like Kella Khalifa with Kella Khalifa, then you have your Tech Khalifa to dodge on the end slot or whatever. Mm-hmm. Is is this hits just in a weird spot? Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, let's actually put him on the big boy scale now. This is. I don't remember if hit was previously on the big boy scale, but this would be an easy A tech hit in case of the the person in charge of the uh, actual category wants to make a distinction between them. So how do you feel for oh, big boy skillness? It goes up to what five? Uh, just to give you a little bit of a hint as to previous um, letter grading, I believe. Kale and Khalifa um, both got five stars, so that made them a 10 out of five. I think Bardock received a negative 1,000 up until we get a <laughs> Namek, a Namek Goku easy game, in which case he will be a five out of five. But for at the moment, I think he's at like the negatives. <laughs> and I think Kaba actually has a negative ability, and I think that's what, that's what I gave him the last time. <laughs> So that's kind of how you well, want to play it. I think for me, I'll start first. I think for Tech Hit for me, I think I'm going to give him a solid 4 out of 5. Because I do think they actually did look at the, what he needed, which was defense. They increased that a little bit. They made him a little bit better in the stunning. So as opposed to just completely abandoning him, abandoning his ability to stun like they did to their own game, they decided to just make him better for it. So they won't... <laughs> So the one mode where he can actually stun and be effective, he's that much better for. Um, that will make him hopefully extremely useful in any category where he's allowed to be on it, which I think is Universe 6, Universe Survival Saga, and I think that's it. Let me actually double check this, because I'm actually not sure if it hits on any more categories than two. Um, but I think that puts him pretty good at a four out of five. I think that's respectable for a do- considering some of the other Dokkan Fests, Easy A's that have made them like insane. Like I don't think he's better than the Int Goku's Easy A, where he went from not very usable to holy shit in one Easy A. But I still think a respectable <laughs> four out of five for Tech Hit. I think that's good. Uh, that's my thoughts. You can give your thoughts now as I look up his categories. Just because the big boy scale, I love the memes with that. I won't give them a negative seven out of five. Hmm. Just, I just don't like the the universe six restriction and the fact that they they like you said they abandoned the the mechanic of studying basically. It makes them really only useful in one in one yeah. fight. Unfortunately, his categories are Universal Survival Saga, Universe Six, Target Goku, Rapid Growth, Space Traveling Warriors. And legendary existence. The problem is, of course, because he is so beholden to Universe 6 for that first part of the passive, he does lose basically all of them. You can't activate that first part of the passive on Target Goku, Rapid Growth. Actually, you can on Rapid Growth because all of them have Kaelin Khalifla, uh, Space Traveling Warrior, and Legendary Existence. So three out of six categories, he could potentially get that first half of his passive. But And it also depends on your rotations. And I'm also assuming that you're taking hit off rotation because you're not breaking up killing Khalifa. Because why would you? No, you'd be, you'd be insane. 
You that, that's kind of the issue with him. He's just he's just running him as double leader and then floating him off rotation, basically. Yeah. It, that that new um, Kalen Khalifa that transforms to Kathleen needed to also be a support unit like Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, where they she gave, like, Universe 6 plus 50% attack and defense whenever she was on the field. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, she's not that. <laughs> so they got to deal with yeah. that. So, okay, on the big boy scale, we got me with a 4 out of 5 and you with a negative 7 out of 5. <laughs> so we're coming back after the fact because fucking as soon as we finished recording, I had to like, we literally had just said goodbye to each other. I was like saying goodnight, goodnight, Ignit. And then fucking <laughs> Jokan revealed <laughs> a new LR coming. And it was the most, like, I had quickly went back to the- I was about to hit you up on Twitter because I wasn't sure if you were still on Discord. <laughs> and I was just going to be like, yo, we need to go back. <laughs> well, the good thing about me is I always have Discord open. <laughs> so. Yeah. So I'm just going to give my real live reaction. We're waiting for the translations. I'm going to give my real reactions to watching this um, this super animation. So let me start here. Super Saiyan God Goku says hey to hit. He's like, hello, my best friend. Let's go. <laughs> He beats the shit out of this rabbit man. He goes Super Saiyan Blue. Hit just <laughs> transitions between three solid JPEGs and then they reuse his walking animation. <laughs> oh, an active skill. This one actually looks nice because they actually have to do something for it. Yeah, alright. I mean, I like this idea. <laughs> oh, wait, let me see what this final animation looks like. Hmm. I actually think this is alright. I think the problem, again, is with Dokkan sprites. Dokkan sprites are just so terrible. Well, I think the issue with this one is this is definitely an old animation they had, but it still looks good for the most part. Yeah, it's still, I think, pretty solid. I think it's one of those ones... You can tell it's an old-style one because they're not trying to hide the um, character. They're actually using them. So you have like, yeah. Goku doing weird rabbit punches while the rabbit man goes, ah, like he does a little shake. He, look, he does like a fucking space ghost animation <laughs> while he's getting hit because he only has two frames. He has in hurdy and he has not hurdy. <laughs> but the, the fire effect on Super Saiyan God actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, it looks see. really good. That's one of the best parts about God is the aura. Yeah, the aura is extremely nice. I can't. This really was good. This I would not expect them to release an LR of this. I guess it kind of makes sense because you know Hit and Hit. It was the bad guy from the previous arc, even though he is technically not a bad guy, even though he kills people. Um, you know what's great about this, by the way? Hmm. He, he, they released this obviously to leak with the Tech Hit EZA. Or they did it vice versa, but Tech Hit is not going to get this full buff because it's definitely not going to just be Universe 6 because Goku's in the unit. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Shit. Oh, man. I think I'm going to have to go back and give my 4 out of 5 a 3 out of 5. <laughs> like, what are they doing? They could have just made it Universal Survival Saga and it would have been just as fine. <laughs> Why? Yeah, it would have been... We've been fine with this Universal Survival Saga. There's so many units. But it had to be specifically Universe 6. And now in this unit, he's not going to be on the Universe 6 team. He will be on the Universe Survival Saga team. But Hit's not going to be getting the Universe 6 buff from him. <laughs> Which sucks. That, yeah, that sucks. Then, oh my god, the links. Where did it go? The links going to be Gresh, please. The links, I'm so scared. Because you have a Sand and Hit. What the hell are going to be the links? <laughs> Yeah, I think it has to be legendary existence. I think that's it. I think they're gonna have th- what two, three categories. It's duo, um, legendary existence, and <laughs> universal survival saga. I don't know if they can have any other, like Dokkan category. They don't really. They can, he's not gonna fit on the target Goku category. He's fucking Goku. Yeah. <laughs> Let me look it up now here. Look at his other categories. While well, we continue to wait and see which one it will be. So Universal Survival Saga, definitely a lock. Um, Alright, so we've got Target Goku ain't happening. Rapid Growth. Is Super Saiyan God on Rapid Growth? No. 
So that's not happening. Even though I think, technically speaking, wouldn't this be a case of rapid growth? Because he's able to go into Super Saiyan Blue to Super Saiyan God. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. They're, they're yeah. kind of so weird with these uh, links and categories. They are. Definitely not a space traveling warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so... technically speaking, they did travel from a different universe. And Goku is technically a space traveling warrior because he got sent from, you know, Planet Vegeta to Earth. So maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest stretch ever. <laughs> the hardest copium ever. And his category is because I'm pulling up the Super Saiyan God Goku who is on the Universal Survival Saga. He's got Realm of Gods, fit, Hit doesn't fit. Um, Pure Saiyans doesn't fit. Representation of not happening. Goku's family. Chi Chi's not even on Goku's family. Kamehameha? Is he using one? Actually, in this clip, is he using a Kamehameha? No, he's just using like sick punches, right? Because yeah. that's all hit is, so... Oh, wait, no, I think he uses a Kamehameha. No, he doesn't. He does, like, a fist to ha <laughs> fist to ha yeah. So Where's no... the foot Kamehameha LR, dude? Uh, in the World Tournament Ghetto. <laughs> Turtle School. <laughs> I don't think Miraculous Awakening, because, again... And Bond of Friendship, they ain't friends. Hit has no friends. He's an assassin. All right, now we're just going to wait for Gorish to give us the animation. Uh, not the animations, for the um, translations. Gorish so, always has the real animations for us. <laughs> yeah, he does. Let me pause and then we'll be back. Okay, we're back and we're here with the translation for them. Hit and Super Saiyan God Goku. Go ahead, guests. You can say it for us. And it's totally not because I'm super fucking tired. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, well, we have Hit and Super Saiyan God Goku. They dropped this, like, right when we got off. So, lead us go high-speed battle, which is a new category, and universe survival saga categories, key plus four HP attack and defense 150%. I love this, because they're just talking about how tech hits leader skill is good, and universe survival saga got the plus three and 160%. This LR just says, fuck you, <laughs> we got a better leader skill. <laughs> uh, super attack, 12 key, raises attack and defense for one turn, it causes colossal damage with a high chance of stun. Uh, 18 key greatly raises attack and defense from one turn and causes mega colossal damage with high chance to stun. Basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Passive, high speed advantage, attack and defense plus 170%, gain key plus six and additional attack and defense of 60%, and attacks guaranteed to hit and disabled enemies. Oh my god, this is a lot. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, let me just try it. So attack and defense 170%. That's mm -hmm. Pog. Gains key plus six, an additional attack and defense plus 60%, and attacks guaranteed to hit and disabled enemy's guard, and gain a high chance to evade enemy attacks as the first or second attacker in a turn. They were like, this guy, has, this guy has four categories. We better make them fucking good. <laughs> yeah, that's not all. Gain key plus seven, an additional attack 70%, and perform an additional attack. Uh, that has a medium chance to become a super attack as the third attacker to turn. Oh. I actually, uh, I don't know how you feel about the first and second and third attack. I actually really do like it when a unit has uh, a third attack for when they are not the first or second. So that way it doesn't feel like you're losing that much when they are in, not in the first or second slot. Like, you yeah, never feel bad. Better. Yeah. All right, you can keep All on right. going because he has an active skill. <laughs> I got lightheaded. Just read it off. Hold on. Uh, active skill conditions able to be used after three super attacks are launched and HP is seventy six or below. I mean, they could have just left that at three super attacks. That third is seventy six percent or below in there. Huh? Once only. And what it does is it gain attack and defense plus thirteen percent during battle. Bro, there is no reason that you should be below seventy six percent to get fucking thirteen percent attack and defense. <laughs> That, that has to be a typo, Gresh's part. No way. No way is it 13%. No way. No I, I'm not way. seeing him giving any corrections. There's no way. All right, well, I guess we'll carry on and just double check before we uh, hop off. So, links. Turner to power. Experienced fighters. Cold judgment. End fighter. Shocking speed. Fierce battle. Legendary powder. Powder? 
legendary power. <laughs> legendary power is something completely different. Yeah. Categories, high speed battle, universe survival saga, join forces, and legendary existence. So, I mean, he seems good besides being all four categories and <laughs> you have to do three super attacks and be under 76% HP for only a 13% boost. <laughs> I've also confirmed that it is, in fact, attack and defense 13%. Because oh in the Japanese, God. it very clearly says attack and defense 13% up. Why? Why? Are you, I guess, it, I mean, th- three super attacks is technically not the worst thing in the world. Being below 70%, 76% is kind of a bummer. But if you're being, like, low on HP and you're only getting attack and defense 13%, the fuck is your point? Like, they're running out of shit to use for an active skill at this point, right? <laughs> Unless it was, like, a, a B-pan buff? To the party, Not, that's like a, different. Yeah, or to, even to themselves, because that 13% is massive, is, like, B-pans, but still... Only 13% for all of that? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make much sense to me. I do like that they are introducing a new leader skill, even though I think that we don't know who's going to be on high-speed battle. We have to assume, like you were saying to me before we recorded, has to be everyone with shocking speed, and I would also say everyone that has over in a flash. That would only... <laughs> I don't know. I guess <laughs> technically over in a flash is not a speed thing. It is just saying we get the battle done very quickly. But that's just so stupid if you're going to be like... No, over in a flash means you're going to be done quickly. But if, but shocking speed means you're very fast. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? They're, they're both about going fast. Why is one excluded and the other is not? But we don't know about that yet. So we have to wait and see. Um, in terms of his animations, you can tell that they're a little old. But they're still perfectly fine. Um, the biggest problem against them is that Tech Hit actually doesn't go super well with them, because he does not have Universe 6. Yeah, so you won't get that, you'll be missing out on that 20%, but they do share six, six links with each other, so he's still that's, like their yeah. best linking partner. I yeah. still think that's pretty good. I also think that's kind of a, maybe the most dumbest thing Dokkan's done, is the best linking partner to this new hit that Super wants there to be all Universe 6 members is not on Universe 6, but maybe that is something to take up with Dokkan in the way that they do categories and not something that um, we can necessarily dissect. (laughs) So I got confirmation. It is multiplicative, whatever, the big math word, and lasts the entire fight. So it is a pretty good 13% buff, but it's it's still just funny that it's 13%. Yeah, if it's actually for the entire... Yeah, that changes things. If it's for the entire um, battle, then yeah, that's better. I would say that's better. That's fair, then. I guess it's maybe just because yeah. I'm looking at like the, the, the attack 70%, attack fucking 50%, 13 and 13% for attack and defense. It's, it just seems small. It's, it's a funny f- small. But all right. Yeah, so they, they're pretty much the perfect partner for tech hit because of... Tech hit in slot one is not going to work because it doesn't get his defense or super, but this unit can be obviously slapped in slot one easily. Mm-hmm. And once again, they're going to be a unit that just destroys super battle routes. <laughs> yeah, I think that kind of does make... <laughs> Except for the slight bummer, which I think is just a negative on the passive of hit. It is someone that you can actually use with that hit that will take advantage of the stuff he does. Like, I can't imagine a, a super battle world where you can use both of them and you're not just like doing pretty damn good and it's also more dudes for legendary existence which is nice for um namek goku even though both of them i think are not supports and i don't know if legendary existence <laughs> needs more buffs than it needs strong dudes but strong dudes is always nice so let's just put mm-hmm. them on the big boy big boy scale real quick what, what are you feeling here i actually like this one outside the uh four categories i say five out of five big boys for this one Really? All right. Does it, it in any way change your big boy scale for Tech Hit? Do you still feel strongly about the negative seven? No, I'm now negative 14. Why did it have to be universe six? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I am going to... It should to... have been universe survival saga. I think that would have been perfect. Yeah, I agree. And I think for that very reason, I think I'm going to say tech hit is a a three out of five and i'll give this guy the actual four out of five i think he's 
pretty cool. I like the idea of high speed battle. I think the only thing that's kind of holding me back is I think the animations if they were just just a little bit more modern is the right a little bit more clean. I think they they focus too much on the actual like sprite and there's some very clear reused animation in some sh- in some shots that I feel like it could have been a little bit better. Maybe it's just the 12 key though. But maybe you'll never see the 12 key because of the game key plus six. But I think a four out of five big boy is pretty good for me. So that is now to sum up. For Ignit, it is a negative 14 for tech hit easy A and a five out of five big boy for hit and Super Saiyan God Goku. And for me, it is a three out of five for tech hit easy A and it is a four out of five for the hit and the Super Saiyan God Goku LR. All right. Sound so good? Ra- Raiders... Yeah, Raiders fan. I think that was his name. Raiders yeah, Raider, fan, Raider Patriot fan. fan. Yeah, so keep track, buddy. Do your job. Yeah. Oh, God. Raiders fan <laughs> is going to have such a... He's going to go like, oh, yes, here's the score. And then in mid-episode, this is the first time we've ever had to do a mid-episode like update because me and Zen are never on at the same time. <laughs> and we just go, ah, all right. So, yeah, that's it from us. We will now let past Ignan and past Wookie finish up the show. And edit cut right here. Perfect. <laughs> yes. All right. I think that's pretty respectful. And I think that is the end for 2B release. I did not ask for questions because I did not expect to be doing anything Dokkan related until they started releasing good stuff again. <laughs> <laughs> it was just kind of spurred the moment, baby. That's how it we is. do it. So if you have a question, feel free to leave it down below and then I will answer them in the comments or tell us how you feel specifically about Hit. Again, in terms of what's going on in Dokkan, it's basically a fat nothing up until I get except for Aider, which we both we both respect Aider. And as much as I don't like GT, I like his I like Ranger 17. <laughs> Funny enough, <laughs> I really like the outfit of Ranger 17. I think it's amazing. <laughs> That's like so it's really weird the things I do like from GT cuz it's always like weird offshoot like why do you really like this one <laughs> fucking aspect that was only there for like an episode <laughs> like <laughs> like i love b pan <laughs> i love ranger 17 stuff like that um but other than that it's just like a lot of waiting until heroes i think right i think so heroes is the next big thing yeah it looks like they might release a super saiyan trunks dokkan fest who knows? Or a 17 and 18 Dokkan Fest? I'm not sure. But, hey, we'll wait and see. But thank you very much to my guests for actually joining me for To Be Released today. I I need to pull up... I didn't play the opening theme, but we need to play the ending theme, the Dragon Ball theme, the original Dragon Ball theme, while Snake Drinking Water gets to <laughs> drink his water real quick. Let me see. I need to always find this video. It's If you ever are interested where the video... Because the music video to this song is amazing. The Dragon Ball Original 1995 English theme HD 720 Rare is the name of the video. This video is amazing if you know anything about Dragon Ball. So let me play the song. Uh, let me... After the narrator is done talking. Yeah, okay, it's playing. Pull up the snake drinking water. And that's it for to do be released, everyone. So... As always, I will say, remember kids, don't play Dokkan, because if you do play Dokkan, you go to hell before you die. Say goodbye, Ignit. Bye, gamers! <laughs> now I'm just letting the theme song rock for a bit. Hell yeah. It's a really good theme song. <laughs> 1995 theme songs were amazing <laughs> for kids' cartoons.